Okay, so this is a quick guide on how to uh, use Google Analytics with um, Google Sites. A lot of people at school have Google Sites and you might find it useful to know how many people are actually using those sites, um, when they're using them, um, and all sorts of interesting stats that you can find about um, the activity that's happening on your site. Um, you might create a Google Site <coughs> um, for some students um, and then never actually know whether any of them are actually looking at it. Google Analytics allows you to do that. Um, so this is really just looking at how to apply it to um, Google Sites. So if you just go to Google Analytics, so I'm just Googling it, Google Analytics. So this is where you need to be with this happy looking lady. Um, and then it says access Google Analytics up at the top. Now if you've already got an account you just click on there and you'll go straight in. If not it'll ask you to um, uh, sign up for Google Analytics which involves pressing the sign up button and then you'll be at the screen where you can add a website which we'll do in a second. So if I click on that I've got a few sites that I already um, have Google Analytics set up on um, so what we're going to do is add an, an additional one um, the screen that you get to if you've not got any set up already will be at in a minute if you've already got some set up um, you click on admin and then under account you see that I've got three sites here what you do is click on create new account to add a new website effectively and this is the site that you'll get to um, if you um, have never signed up before and it gives you two options to use universal analytics or classic analytics um, this has rather more options but it says it's beta so you can go to classic if you want um, I'm going to do this for a Google site that I haven't got this set up on at the moment. So my new account name, um, I'm just trying to call it DOV, this Duke of Edinburgh Award. My website name is going to be the same, DOV. And here you need to put in the website URL. Um, so if you've mapped uh, the URL, um, or I've done that for you, then you can put that in. If it's a public site, HTTP is fine. If it's not a public site, you'll need to have HTTPS selected there. I need to go to my site and I'm going to copy the URL. I don't need the HTTPS bit. Well, I could delete it. I'm going to paste that into there. And then <clears throat> you've got a few options industry category. I'm just going to select education, which is somewhere down here. Jobs and education. Uh, time zone set to the appropriate time zone so we want UK there we go and I'm gonna set it to London so I have daylight saving okay so that's it really so you then you click on get tracking ID you have to accept the terms and conditions and then what you'll have is this screen which looks a bit complicated this code that you've got here is what you would use if you don't have a uh, Google site so any other website you can apply this to as well but you'd have to put that code um, into the pages you want it to track but for a Google site all you need is that code up there so I'm going to copy that code the thing that starts with UA go to my website click on more I'm going to go to manage site and then down here you'll see under general, which is where you land, anyways, statistics. So you need to be the owner of the site to do this. Click on enable Google Analytics, and then I've got to paste in that tracking code. And I click on save. And then that's pretty much it. So I'm back on my site. If I go back to Google Analytics now, if I click on home, You'll see that I've got an additional website here that I'm tracking and I can go to all website data and it will give you 
a whole host of statistics about your site um, demographics, interests, behavior, technology, so what web browser are people using, whether people are visiting it with mobile devices, and so on. So there's lots of things that you can track. Um, you can also track real-time behavior. And this is a nice check to see whether it's working. We've actually got one visitor on the site at the moment, and um, they're in Oxfordshire. The location is very approximate. It's done by um, uh, IP address and that is plus or minus I don't know it can be a hundred miles or so but it will give you an idea of where people are visiting your site from it's got one visitor at the moment because I'm on it um, so I click on home actually I will go back to overview this page here is a historical overview of your site and at the moment there's nothing there um, because I've literally just set this up. If I go to one that I set up yesterday, so for example this public portal, um, which is our public Google Apps portal, you can see this one was set up yesterday, it had eight visitors, um, six unique visitors, so you can sort of distinguish between repeat visits, and um, you can see that this is starting to go up, so this is a, a graph of how many visits you've got per day on your site. Um, you can even have a look at the country and apparently somebody from Canada has had a look at it. I'm not quite sure what they're interested is in it but there you go. This is a public Google site this one. Um, they've only been set up for immediately or a day. If you have one that's been set up for a while, this is the school website, you can see that you get um, a nice graph here showing you how many visits you've had on any particular day and uh, unique visitors, visitors and so on. I'm not going to go into what all the stats mean, that would take a long time and there's plenty of guides, but that's how at school you can track who's visiting your uh, Google sites and see whether anybody's actually doing anything with them. Okay, and that's how easy it is.